Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be checking out Dark Runes. Let us begin. So located within the Eastern Plague Lands, we're going to be wanting to farm up Dark Runes. Why is that may you ask? Now Dark Runes are actually used for the new stuff that is the new transmog appearances that are coming back for 10.1.5. That This means that the demand for these are, is going to be quite high and that means that we can make a quick buck on materials. Even though that the material market has been merged into our regions, we can now actually get more out of our buck by doing this. So therefore, let's check out where we actually are. We're going to be wanting to come over to this area, which is Corin's Crossing. In here, you want to pretty much slay all of these lovely little undead. And if we run around, and we'll just show you how it's done. These are the ones that we're actually going for. These lovely guys here, the Vile Tutors. They have a chance of dropping the Dark Runes. Now, if we have a look at which different types of ones going off of Wowhead, Dark Summoners have a 12% chance of dropping Dark Runes, along with Vile Tutors at a 9% chance. That is pretty dang awesome. And the other ones average from anywhere from 0.01 to 0.07. That means that the Vile Tutors are our biggest bet for Dark Runes. Along with our Dark Summoners, we, we will have to run around this entire little area of the crossing and to be quite frank, they're quite easy to actually identify and take out. However, you can use the targeting macro for this, which is slash tar dark summoner. And then another one that actually says slash tar vile tutor. You can use that on the same macro, by the way. And then you can say cast whatever spell you want to do with slash cast. And overall, with a 12 and 9% drop chance for the Dark Runes, we're going to be able to farm up quite a not hefty amount of these. But judging by the crossing, there, this is quite a nice little area to go around. So if we actually have a look at the particular area, you're going to want to go around in a loop-shaped fashion. A lot of these guys are in the buildings, so just be prepared for that. Now, if we actually jump down and we actually see the market value of ourselves on the auction house, we can then go into my Brutosaur and we can actually have a look at Dark Runes. Now, looking at Dark Runes, it is roughly around about 138 gold as a min buyout overall at the moment. And the region sale average is at around about 107 gold. This is predominantly one of the only gold farms for Dark Runes, so I expect it to get a little bit more competitive over time. However, this area is pretty dang good for actually farming up dark runes. So if you want to get on the little bit of the hype train before uh, before the latest patch and then jump into that for 10.1.5 and then sell a stock load of those and get ahead, then please feel free to go do that. I probably am going to go do the same even though I've already stockpiled because I've got to cover my basis. So I'm just giving you a heads up on dark runes. Other than that guys have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. Mm -hmm.